Well, hello everybody, and good evening. Just a real short one tonight. Uh, I spent the first part of the day rearranging the Tarvis. Uh, shelf up here is now, at the moment, uh, just for stuff that uh, viewers have given to me. Uh, so all these kits and things are things that you guys sent. And um, I'll probably expand that to the lower shelf. That's not including the stuff that's on display in the house. And the uh, wall with all my kit models was completely full. And I realized with a little bit of work, I could actually lower the shelf and create more room, which I did, as you can see. But, <laughs> of course, that meant taking the boxes down and moving everything. And yeah, 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 yeah. between that and cleaning this place up a little bit, the rearranging took the first half of the day. So I was kind of like, Ugh. So the second half of the day, I uh, decided to do a, a real, real basic, just I wanted to do a, a simple, easy, fun build. So I, I did the HMS Amazon that Mr. Hamilton had sent to me. I did it in one sitting. I'll probably paint it tomorrow, but uh, I'm happy to report that for once, not a single piece made it to the floor. One dropped in my lap, but that was it. And everything is on there. I didn't lose a single part. Yay, me. Um, and I am really impressed because look how tiny these parts are. And of course, Airfix did a, a, a great job on uh, detailing these teeny tiny parts. This is one six hundred scale. And that ship was uh, an anti-submarine frigate that was commissioned by the Royal Navy in 1973. So it's a Cold War era vessel. But anyway, it was a very fun sit down build. Everything went just good. And that's great. That, that, that was just the relaxing I needed. Um, and a few other odds and ends. Well, I actually shot a little video so while I was doing things, so I'll just show you that, and here we go. And we're back. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed that reveal on the HMS Amazon. Um, oh gosh, I also uh, I just tinkered on some other stuff. Uh, but uh, I am uh, getting ready to uh, start resuming work on the other Peggy. And um, had to pirate some parts off of it, partly for the uh, Dornier kit bash. And, I'll probably steal a gear door that's missing off the other Peggy, and I'm going to make this one like a, a maintenance diorama, you know, with an engine cowling off and a propeller missing and all the guns removed because they took the guns out of the planes to go clean them. So it'll, it'll be like, I'm going to use little figures to, to make a little uh, diorama of them maintenance in the airplane. And also tomorrow, the two things I'd like to try and get initiated tomorrow, uh, one is marking off the Saturn V for painting. And uh, I want to start on this uh, resin kit that uh, the Wolfman sent me. Uh, Ricky, I appreciate that. And uh, we will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Oh, by the way, in case you were just curious about this weird thing hanging up here, uh, that's from that Red Star Trek parody I made. Like, anyway, I, I might have already included that in the narrative while I was, while I was well, here. Just watch. I'm in the process of... Uh cleaning up the Tarbis, and I realized I was completely out of room for the boxes. So I went through the rather tedious uh, task of unloading everything and then lowered the shelf. So now I've got more room for more box tops. And uh, 
everything else is pretty much like normal. I cleaned up this counter a little bit, got some of my spray paints and my rattle cans organized. Everything up on this shelf, I cleaned off this shelf. Everything up there on that shelf are things that uh, you great people gifted to me. So that's going to be reserved for the uh, viewer shelves. And probably the second shelf will be dedicated to the same thing. But that's not including the ones that are in the house on display. So uh, that's what I spent the morning doing. Oh, and for those who are curious, I almost threw this thing away a long time ago. I made a, a parody thing about a video about Red Star Trek. If Star Trek had been made in Russia and this thing's been laying on the shelf for a long time, it's all beat up. But uh, I decided to go ahead and hang it up for a while until I figure out how I went to uh, what its disposition is going to be. By the way, I did not build this biplane. I took it down off the wall. It's one I might gotten with a lot of pre-built models, but it has no decal. So I just thought for fun and practice, I might uh, finish it off. So, anyway, uh, got the Samoa kits, uh, little ones uh, lined up to start working on. And, uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. Try not to make you dizzy here. I, except I haven't rigged it yet. I uh, finished the, the uh, Barbary pilot, uh, pirate uh, ship. So, there's that. So, uh, anyway. Uh, and uh, I'll probably... Uh, do some more stuff later this evening for an after hours video. So we'll see you then. Um, also, I found this uh, Henschel bi uh, Heinkel biplane that was, uh, I didn't build it or paint it. Uh, it was one of them that you see hanging up on the wall. It was, uh, I forget why I took it down, but it, I think it broke or something. But anyway, uh, I figured it didn't have any decals on it. So I went to my spares box and just put these decals on. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, so, uh, I, like I said, I didn't build it or paint it, so, but I just figured, what the heck. Uh, who doesn't enjoy a little day of easy decaling? So, uh, once again, guys, uh, we'll see y'all again later, and thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Build on.